We're here today with Eric from uh, what part of Texas did you Montgomery, say? Montgomery, Texas, about 45 miles north of Houston. With his lovely car, and this is actually called the Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Yes, sir. Explain to me why you call it that. Well, it started out as a uh, 53 Bel Air, um, Chevy Bel Air, and unfortunately, for those who love the 53 Bel Air, it, they're probably not going to want to hear it. But <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like the aesthetics of it. So I implemented and took uh, different parts and components from cars that I did love, mm -hmm. and this is what we have. Now, you were telling me earlier, uh, this was your granddad's car. Yes, sir. And he lived in Minnesota, Detroit Lakes, I think you said. Uh, that's actually where he picked it up. He lived in uh, uh, Furtick, Montana. Okay. Um, he and my mother drove over, or they drove over, picked up the car, and then uh, drove, drove this back. Yes, sir. And then it made its way south south to Colorado um, and then down to Tomball, Texas. My dad restored it in 1983. Um, you see some images here of what it looked like then. And uh, yeah, in uh, 2003, I began the, uh, the project and turned it into what it is now. Well, you're a little different than uh, your typical uh, fabricator in the fact that uh, you do this out of your own garage in a three-stall three garage, I guess is what you said. Yes, sir. Uh, and these are parts you just had laying around. These are parts that uh, of cars that I did like and uh, picked them up, sat around, and I figured out a way to somehow implement it with the car. Okay. But again, uh, couldn't have done it without the help of uh, Jim Rowe and Tom Ball, Texas. Okay. Uh, JBZ Customs, uh, probably the best kept secret in uh, Texas as far as uh, hot rods go. And Very nice. uh, he took me under his wing and uh, he's uh, taught me what I know. Well. I know you call it, a, say again, Chevy, Chevrolet. Yep. I got a guy that's got a Chevelle something or another like that. I never remember what it is. But tell us the components that you added to this car. Uh, the uh, the grill is a 53 DeSoto. Mm -hmm. um, the Dagmars up front are from a 55 Cadillac. They're sectioned about six and a half inches. The uh, rear bumper is from a uh, uh, 64 Buick Riviera. That was uh, section one inch. Uh, tail lights are uh, from a uh, 54 to 56 Cadillac. They were graft in. Uh, the fins were hand fabricated. Uh, GTO interior, uh, 2004. Um, all the fiberglass fabrication <coughs> was done by myself. Um, I'm trying to think of what other what other components. I have 54 Buick uh, portholes, also as well. Now, who did the interior in the car? Uh, his name is Avalino Suarez uh, from uh, Conroe, Texas. He, he works for a company, Just Boats. Uh, he stepped out of the box and worked on a car. Uh, he and I together, uh, we knocked this out in my garage and his house roughly about two to three weeks. Now, is, is these the standard seats and stuff that are in this car or they come out of something else? Uh, from a GTO, 2004. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about the suspension on this car? Suspension is uh, uh, coil over on all four corners, uh, QA1 shocks, uh, mm -hmm. front ends of Fat Man Fabrication. Mm -hmm. uh, rear end is a four link from a Fat Man Fabrication as well, Paul Stainless. And uh, the rear end's a uh, four nine inch, originally came out of a Lincoln Versailles. And uh, it's got um, uh, bare brakes all the way around. Excellent. 430 gear, uh, six speed transmission behind the uh, LS1. When I started the, uh, the project, LS1s were kind of in their infancy. Yeah. Uh, so I got the first gen, built nice. by uh, Nickens, Nickens Brothers Racing. Yes. And it's producing 300 and... Actually, it's producing about 600 of the rear wheels. Ah, very nice. Yes, You've done something to it then. Absolutely. Uh, dart heads, uh, Scorpion roller rockers, um, got a Claysmith custom cam, um, Cowley's crank, uh, Manly Conrods, and intake and exhaust valves. Um, MSD ignition, um, their uh, coil packs, um, pretty much everything was, was touched where it needed to. Uh, what wheels do you have on the car? They are uh, from uh, Chris Coddington, um, son of Boyd, yes. uh, the custom wheels. Um, and of course, too, the uh, center capsule machine with the Chevrolet logo like the rest of the, the car. Very so nice. it implements the theme. Yes, sir. Well, Eric, excellent car. Thank Glad you. you got a chance to look at it today. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you for you. your time.